Over the last couple of weeks, I've done an experiment with uh, E85 versus E87 in my 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe. Uh, has, I have a V8 engine that has a flex fuel capability, and it also has the uh, ability to shut off four cylinders um, or switch its timing up. I don't know how, the, how it works, but anyways, it can go from an eight-cylinder to a four-cylinder or from four to eight, depending on... Uh, on the terrain that it's going over. So if I'm going on flat highway, that it switches to four cylinders to try to save some some fuel. So that's the type of vehicle I have. Uh, I just compared E85 to E87, and I was going to go share with you the uh, results of that test. Uh, up front, basically, uh, it is cheaper uh, in my vehicle, uh, based on the prices that I purchased, is cheaper to buy unleaded gas uh, instead of buying uh, E85 gas. Even though the price was 49 cents cheaper per gallon, uh, I saved, uh, I, I made that up in the efficiency in the fuel. So the, it was 28.4% more efficient, energy efficient, uh, to drive the, uh, the vehicle with E87 gas in it versus the E85 flex fuel. Okay, so uh, if you decided to stop watching there, that's fine. For the people who stuck around, uh, I'm going to run through the numbers so that you can understand where I got it from. All right, so for the E85 uh, gasoline that I purchased, I paid $2.87 per gallon, about 22 gallons. <clears throat> uh, that fuel, uh, whenever I used it in the vehicle, it ran out at 0 .08679 gallons per mile, so I used point. 0.8679 gallons per mile, which cost me 24.9 cents per mile. Uh, that, that, that equates to 11.5 miles per gallon. With the uh, E87, I purchased 22 gallons of, of that fuel at $3.37 a gallon, and I got 325 miles to that tank. Uh, and if I didn't say so for the other one, it was 253 miles to that tank. Uh, for the E87, uh, I got 14.77 miles per gallon. The vehicle used 0 0.06769 gallons per mile, which equated out to 23.4 cents per mile. So the com in comparison, uh, E85, 11.5 miles per gallon. E87, 14.77 miles per gallon. E85, 24.9 cents per gallon or per, per mile, uh, E87, 23.4 cents per mile, which was uh, 1.5 cents cheaper per mile to drive with uh, the unleaded fuel versus the uh, E85 flex fuel. And then um, I used 0 .08679 gallons per mile with the E85 versus the more efficient 0 .06769 gallons per mile for the E87. So those are the numbers that I, I got uh, from running my experiment. It was all in town driving. Uh, wasn't any long hauls in the E85. I didn't drive any long distances. Probably the average trip was 10 miles. Uh, mostly stop and go, stop signs, stop lights in, in, the, uh, in and around the Indianapolis area. And uh, so that, that's, that's my conclusion. So unless you can save, unless it is 30% I would say rule of thumb, it's 28.4, but if it's 30% less expensive to purchase uh, E85, then you're not going to, you're going to save enough money to make the inefficiency uh, worth, worth your money. So just take a round number. So $4 a gallon. If unleaded is $4 a gallon, then E85 needs to be 280. At $2.80, you'll make back. Uh, you'll make you'll, 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 your inefficiency in miles per gallon uh, will be compensated by the savings that you got per gallon, uh, the dollar twenty that saved you per gallon. Uh, but uh, if uh, if it's anywhere more expensive than that, so sometimes I'll be driving down the the road and, and I'll see that E87 is three dollars and eighty six cents per gallon and E85 is three dollars and twenty six cents per gallon and you're thinking ooh sixty cents 
that's cheap. Well, in reality, uh, because the difference is not great enough, it's actually going to cost you more to purchase E85 and run it because of the, the inefficiency of running it in your vehicle. Now, if your vehicle runs it uh, more, runs more efficient with E85 than mine, then please leave a comment and let me know. I would love to hear it. Um, I've got several other videos out there. This concludes this video, but I have several other videos out there. Uh, they're not all about fuel efficiency or anything. They're just a, a variety of videos. So uh, please leave comments on this one. Uh, respond with uh, your experience with using the E85. Uh, I understand that there, are, you know, are the political or ec you know ecological uh, views out there. That's not what this video is about. This video has nothing to do with saving the environment. It's just pure facts of my experiment. Um, but you know, leave me your your experiences with using the 85 and, and is it worth it in yours and what is that price point for your vehicle that uh, makes it worth purchasing E85 versus E87. Okay, please uh, click like and subscribe and uh, I look forward to hearing uh, about your experiences. Uh, try to use that video response if, you, if you've if you never tried it before. You can always just sit and hit uh, upload video and record a response to, uh, to this video and let me know what you think. Alright, have a good night.